Welcome back everybody. In our last section, we have learned how to build a nice navigation system for our website. Now we are going to discover some elements and plugins to help give the actual content some structure. In this video, you are going to see how to use tabs to define and navigate between sections of HTML on a single page. To try out tabs, let's create our contact page, then we'll add to it a map and a placeholder for a contact form. First of all, as usual, create the contacts HTML page by copying another page and erasing everything inside the main section area. Tab syntax is not different from all the other menus with related content that we've made so far. We have a list on top with the links. Here we are trying to be as semantic as possible, however, because we are dealing with a JavaScript plugin, we need to specify some classes and attributes directly in the HTML code. Now let's create the tabs with the actual content. To make it fancy, we'll embed a Google map, while for the contact form, we just put a placeholder, but we are going to implement it in section 6. Essentially, we need to have a menu list with the tabs class and the data tab attribute. Then, the tabs will have to be inserted in a div with the tabs content class. Each tab needs to have the tab class and the ID we linked to with the menu. Don't forget to edit our style file to make the contacts div 12 columns large too. Save and refresh and enjoy your contacts page. As you can see, clicking on the tabs switches between the two contents. In this case, we have no need to use some kind of responsive optimization. Two or three tabs usually work quite nicely both on mobile and on desktop. In this video, you've learned everything about tabs. They can be very useful for internal navigations mainly when you want the user not having to scroll around or when you're constrained in small spaces for your content. Now that you're a tab hero, I hope you will enjoy using them. However, try to resist the temptation to use them everywhere. In some situations they could be counterintuitive and possibly hide some key content at the first sight. In the next video we are going to talk about typography. See you soon!